Why are gender-neutral toilets controversial in some cases but accepted in others? Trains, homes, and planes usually tend to have their own sink inside the stall, so that you never have to come across a mixed-gender situation walking from the toilet to a sink. Airport bathroom equals multiple people Airplane bathroom equals one person. The only issue I see is that women use the restroom as a refuge. At one place I worked, there was almost always someone crying in the restroom about the way she was treated by a manager, not the same woman. At bars and other social venues, women escape boorish men by ducking into the ladies' room and finding sisters to see her safely out. Less important, the other women in the ladies' room will also help you with safety pins and such in case of costume failures. Broke a nail? Someone in the ladies' room will have 5-second nail glue, or at least an emery board. There really is a camaraderie in some of those ladies' rooms that I will miss when we make gender-neutral the norm. How many people are you taking into the airplane shitter with you? That's a false comparison. Single occupancy cubicles and gender-neutral toilets aren't the same thing. One is an enclosed room with all the facilities that you use alone. The other has enclosed toilet cubicles but shared communal space. I don't think people have issues with what's considered a family-style bathroom aka a single person, gender-neutral bathroom, I think people have an issue with multi-stall bathrooms being gender-neutral. As a woman, cause it doesn't give me a safe place to go with minimal suspicion should I be held against my will or in an abusive situation. Women's bathrooms tend to be a safe harbor for women in trouble. Not having one at an airport is particularly frustrating cause it could be someone's last chance before flying to who knows where. Source, I'm a fiction writer, it's my job to think of these things, and I'm a woman, my life could count on thinking of these things. I know women who are uncomfortable with man because of trauma or beliefs etc and being in a toilet kinda makes you feel vulnerable. Imagine guys being there? I myself don't like having guys in the washroom because it feels uncomfortable. Also, why are we pushing gender neutral washrooms? What's wrong with already established ones? Also, in a place where only one can go at a time is not at all a problem. Problem is with shared ones. I can't answer the question other the situation or idiots. Several years ago, NC had recently made some statement about gender-neutral bathrooms being a thing. I don't recall what it was nor did I at the time. I only remember that it was in favor of them. We were at a concert, and the place had several large portable bathrooms trailers rigged for indoor plumbing all lined up in a row. Maybe four of them. Each of them had the male and female symbols and those guy girl pictures, as well as a middle three symbol for baby changing station. Meaning each bathroom was fine for everyone and was baby friendly. There was a medium crowd constantly around them taking pictures of the signs either loudly praising how inclusive it was or loudly booing the idea. Someone tried to get my opinion on them and the only thing I said was have you never heard of a family bathroom? Like the ones literally at across the street? It's about safety. Train plane it's a single occupant in a room. There are not multiple stalls or multiple people behind a closed door with you. In a multiple occupant restroom there are stalls, but it's possible that one gender would not feel safe entering a room where a predator of another gender might be lying in wait. Personally, at this point I don't consider public restrooms of any gender to be safe. It's very contextual in general. Gender neutral bathrooms are not an issue if the entire thing is single occupancy and the entrance to that single occupancy stallroom is visible and public the issue is where there are a dozen stalls or small rooms, off of a larger area that is generally not visible has low public traffic one that comes to mind was a gender-neutral bathroom complex at a beach, with a dozen stalls, that had no one else that we could see in it this creates a perfect ambush point for any sexual predators, and going in a lawns is little different to entering a dark ally at night it would all depends on how secluded it is, how rough the area was, what time of nicked it was, etc, 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 as a rule most places that have the larger room with smaller stalls set up. The entrance to the larger room itself is more commonly more highly visible, meaning a man entering the woman's toilet complex would be much easier to spot by some member of the public whether a person seeing a man enter a woman's toilet block would do or say anything about it is debatable. But at least it's one extra step of security for women should add my gf at the time would not go in that beach bathroom area alone so i had to come in with her it has since been reverted to gender specific who is freaking out over single space gender neutral bathrooms i think a large part of this stems from the ineffective half-assed way a lot of stalls are set up at least but maybe more so than other countries in the us they have gaps between to see through some people can see over them if they tried and they can see the bottom one ft and the locks are janky, sometimes barely held to the door. Gender-neutral bathrooms are their own much more secured single room, so it isn't an issue. Where I have seen full gender-neutral bathrooms be effective, 
Each stall has ceiling to floor secure doors, with actual structures walls not made out of a plastic metal board, that are also ceiling to floor. Nobody seems to ever complain about those. I think it comes down to our experiences with men, okay, I said it, don't freak out. Given that men try to get in female pants since the female was 9 years old, we don't want to make it any easier. We live in a society with little accountability, giving these predators more freedom to do whatever. I'm fine with multi-stall gender-neutral toilets if, and only if they close the freaking gaps in the stalls. Make the dividers reach the ceiling and the floor, and no cracks to see through. It is really funny in that context, people sometimes are just set in the way things are and any change to that they are opposed to. I'm in a pretty progressive city and they are basically the standard anywhere that isn't a big chain store, so bars and smaller restaurants all use them, and I haven't run into an issue yet. It's actually pretty funny when there's a girl taking selfies in the mirror while some old guy is just absolutely demolishing porcelain barely out of frame. I've seen the line at women's restrooms and really want to avoid that, so I'm pretty happy with my men's room lol ease, and serious answer for me would have women's, men's, and then a third probably smaller neutral for whoever is interested. Then all parties are covered. It would be really expensive to replace the flimsy privacy walls of toilets with real walls, and big companies don't want to spend that money. Obviously putting real walls around all toilets would solve every problem brought up about restrooms and gender, but think of the CEO stock options. Because in an open airport you can't lock the bathroom door, just the individual stall. In an actual airplane the bathroom is single use so you're the only person in there and can lock the door. Most gender neutral bathrooms are family restrooms and are one room with a locked door. It become controversial in situations where multiple people are using the same bathroom. Single occupancy with a wash basin included. 